it's D-Day, baby. This is gonna be our test day for the Supra. We are at Apple Valley Speedway, also known as Grange. We're here for just a little test day. We're actually joining in on someone's private day. So shout out to these boys. I think Justin was who allowed us to hop in here today. So we're gonna do some light testing. If everything goes well, we'll hop to the main track. There is a skid pad that we're gonna start on. So right now we're just getting our tire pressures all set up. And we're gonna go straight down the car and see how it does. Front, we're running a Nitto NT-05 which is traditionally a lot more grippy than the NT555 G2, which is more of a, let's call it a sport tire. You can make them work really well. So today we're gonna start high with everything, stiff, high on the temps, I mean, high on the pressures. And then we're just gonna get teacher to feel it out, feel if the car is really stiff, snappy, oversteers, et cetera. Do light figure eights, light donuts, not full lock, and then we're gonna work to full lock. We're also not sure like ABS gonna give us a problem. Do I need to enable traction control off? Or is that completely like out the window because now the diff has the lock on it? We're gonna try and figure out all those things today. So it's gonna be a little bit of learning in the beginning and then hopefully we can progress to just like actually get hot lapping the track. And uh, crossed. luckily we did a, a few donuts on a closed course. Yes, pulled closed the, course. Pulled the e-brake in a few situations where it was wet and we knew that the e-brake worked and locked up. Coming up this Friday, March 24th at 9 a.m. Hunt Co. is gonna be dropping the signature series. This is all the stuff we've been showing you guys for the past week. There are two different colors of every shirt and a sweatshirt option. So click the links down below, set yourself a reminder and don't miss it. It just works. Steering yeah. is a little bit delayed. Uh -huh. Doesn't feel bad. Just I can understand the need for a sway bar. Would like to go a little bit faster, but I mean, pretty good. <laughs> Dude, it looks uh, it looks really controllable. Way to take it light. I appreciate you. You didn't, but it's okay. How did it feel? Um, e brake. E brake works. Okay. How did it feel on turn in? Um, a little bit, kind of. I'd, I'd like to stiffen up a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put some more PSI in the front tires too. Really? I, yeah. I think it's. How's rear? Rear foot is okay. It was a little too slow to really know, but the front didn't feel bad. Don't do a figure eight for me. Work your way into a big sweeping donut around both cones. <laughs> Why is Fab Call Street a bottom out of the shock body into the spindle? I was trying to get some height out of the front end by just using the clamping force to keep it up in the knuckle. That side held, this side didn't, so I just tightened it more. There's no leaks or anything like that, so I'm just gonna have him go back out and run it. Uh, and we put more PSI in the front. Pretty hard to adjust the shocks in the front, and then we're just gonna let him run some more like that. First initial impressions? Insane. It feels really good. Doesn't feel foreign. It feels very familiar. The car is super responsive and snappy. The factory front end of this car, even with coilovers, is still super soft. So we upgraded the spring rates to 14K, which definitely helps. We're still dialing in the front. I think that's where this car gets a little bit funky. And that's what I've heard from other A90 people, but amazing. I can't wait to drop PSI, go out on the big track. Feels so good.
You gotta imagine my hands doing it, but... Oh, I imagine it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. It feels so weird to have CarPlay in this car. Full Apple CarPlay? Heaters, hey, what CarPlay. What are you doing sitting here not listening to music while I'm filling your tires? moment that he knew he fucked up my clutch just stuck to the floor I did I'm pumping it right now do we boil the boil the fluid I've never done that I'll put it in gear and put it off right here no I can't get it in gear This is neutral coasting. If I like try to put it in, the synchros almost push it, but. I was about to go do a run with that guy and just do a chase. Went into first gear, floored it, went to grab second. Then I took my foot off the clutch. I was like, oh, there's no clutch underneath my foot. I didn't go in gear and I looked down and the clutch is stuck to the floor. I've never done that before. I've never gotten a clutch so hot that we baked it. But again, that's what today's all about. Testing and figuring out what's wrong. We're on a stock clutch and we know we're really abusing this thing. Every time you start the car, press the brakes, you hear it like, I think it has like a, a pump or a diversion like system that takes it from the secondary to go, or the main to go to the secondary system. So you can see right here, and again, I could be totally wrong, but mid level, and then do you see this feeder tube? I think that's for the clutch system and it's below the min. So we're just gonna fill it up and then you're gonna try it again. If you go that fast, the moment it like feels the front pushing and you tap the brake, it'll go yeah. So like ABS still freaks me out a little bit on this car. We're, we're just gonna T fitting it and bypass the ABS block. The window is probably horrendous. Oh, that, that, that. Here we go, going to the Hey, hey McPap. Dot look four. At, look at this. It's perfect. Look at the car. Look at this. Look back at the car. It feels so wrong. Right now. Dot four, baby. I just it should have happened by now. So I wonder if we melted clutch. To start engine, to press clutch. Uh -uh. You ever break the new drift car? This is what we signed up for. Yeah, now it won't even. Oh, now we're all walking. So what's uh, what's going on? Went to go put it in gear during a shift, and the clutch just stuck to the floor. So what we think is what happened: clutch fluid just got too hot and started boiling, and that's why we lost all pressure. So the clutch won't depress, it's like stuck at the top. So we can't even put the car in gear. 
So we checked it, fluid was low. We've been filling it up, I've been trying to pump it. We haven't regained pressure yet. So we're just gonna give it a little closer look, see what's going on. Not even sure if this car has a internal slave or external. We're gonna find out. ACT Clutch is our clutch sponsor. We've been working with them for years. I absolutely love them. I've been talking with them since I got this car. I'm like, hey, do you guys have a clutch yet? Do you have a clutch yet? And they haven't released the final version, but they have like a version that they think will work because this is obviously a BMW Trans and a lot of stuff does line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a call and say, hey, think you could just send me the prototype just in case that this clutch is completely toasted and we can have something as a backup. Let's see what he says. Hey, DJ, hey Eric, how are you? Hey, man, how about you? Good, um, wanted to see if you guys could do me a favor and just send that super clutch regardless of if you guys know if it works or not. We're doing an AVS day right now and I think I might have fried the stock clutch already. Gotcha, okay, yeah. And it, th this, car te yeah, this car technically is supposed to leave in like five days to go to um, South Carolina Grid Life. So if there's anything you guys have that we could do just to like send it over and we can install it ASAP, that'd be really awesome. All right, let me jump on the phone with engineering really quick, okay? Okay, I appreciate it, thank you. All right, no problem. All right, bye-bye. Well, we'll make it work, I guess. Definitely uh, smells like clutch. Yeah. Are you just squirting on the ground? Yeah, no, it's in the towel, I'm being smart. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, pump, hold. Hold leg. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. oh. A little early celebration, don't know if that's actually it, but. <laughs> After all the driving we've done, which arguably isn't like that much, but we're hot by the crap out of it. These G2s are so good. And we're running them at like 20 PSI and it feels gripped up. Um, and we could still drop like another 10, 12. Yes. Come here. I'm right here. You're talking about G2s right now? Yeah. Go look at the tire on the ground. This is why we like G2s. That. That right there, baby. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? Break oh. it down for me. What does that mean? <clears throat> Can't. Top secret information. Fuck. It's not doing it. Clutch does not feel good. It doesn't feel good, but it came back. Okay, yeah, no, it's still, there's no clutch. Oh, hey. Dude, see you, dude. Yeah, uh, see I'm you later. I'm gonna go walk home. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Super stoked. Never successful test it until you get to test the toe strap. Can't get the clutch to come back. Why aren't you as excited as I am? We get to test the toe strap and the winch. Yeah, I'm sad. I don't know how I'm not sad because guess what? This would have happened 3,500 miles from here. I'm not sad that it happened. I'm sad that it happened with such a short amount of time frame when we're supposed to leave for good life, which if you guys don't know in real time right now, we leave in technically the fifth day where it's supposed to leave. Clutch gets in this day and then there's these many days to fix it. Assuming that it works. Sounds Assuming like... it's the clutch. Assuming it's not the throw out. Saturday, Sunday pizza party. Other than, other than that, the car drove amazing. The temperatures never moved. Uh, we had a little bit of over rotation problems at the beginning of the day. Dylan made some adjustments. We were able to fix all of that. The car drove amazing. The car was fast. Tires were good. Handbrake worked. Just the one thing was we knew this clutch was a big unknown, and it looks like we found the limit pretty early. But when you go 450, you know, 415 horsepower, stick your stuff, they start to fight, and you get a lot of so much sticking on those tires too. That's what's crazy. Yeah, we're only at 24 psi. So it's believe, crazy. believe me. I'm bummed, this is the last thing I wanna to do today. It's cold, it's windy, but we're here. This is what we're doing it for. This is why we do it today. This is why we did today and not Friday. Yep. So it's good, it's a bummer, but it was best case scenario for potentially a pretty big failure like that, so. Well, maybe we should have gotten an automatic and done an HTG sequential. Not a bad call. I think no. you know someone that could have done that. That's a joke, I didn't want that. I uh, wanted Oh yeah, no, we should definitely sell this and get one of those. I'm just kidding. I love this. I love this thing. Gonna I'm really excited. No. Oh, winch me. You're just gonna lock it. You said you would drive away. Look, it's your time for redemption for the vlog. Oh. <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> He's about a GTA. Oh, yeah, he's oh. about to get GTA, <laughs> bro. What do you do when you have a little clutch problem? You go to internet. That dude, that guy, that guy with mud. Look at that. Oh my god. Calvin's on top CIA mission, everyone. He's gonna he's gonna watch our backs today. Oh. The portion, thicker, thicker meat. I'm not sure, but yeah, like a half pound. In and out's always a ten out of ten. 
If you live on the West Coast and you eat like what a burger or whatever, <coughs> what, a, <coughs> what a chicken strip? What, what the what? What? What a what? Chicken strip? A what a? What a chicken strip? Not good. Am I dumb? No, yeah. That's not a thing. No, yeah, I'm dumb or, or no, yeah, that's a thing. Have oh, you never been to the East Coast? What a chicken strip. Chicken strip. No, it's what a burger. Oh no. Well, that is one too. <laughs> Troll. <laughs> we're back. We're here. We're at the shop. Tired. Yeah, I'm tired. That was not. Points directly at Gator. Good? Yeah. Just go over this, huh? Man. I'm just boned because I was having such a fun time. And I really wanted Dylan to drive it and we just roasted through this clutch. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. ACT has overnighted us the prototype clutch. They really wanted to stress that it's not a guarantee it's gonna work, but they think it could be a solution until they get their final version out. So hopefully we'll be able to do testing for them. We've thought about a few different things on the drive home as to what it could be. Dylan, do you want to talk about it? Cause you're a little more proficient. There's really nothing that we could have done to really cause a significant failure in the whole clutch assembly, but it smells pretty bad like clutch from the assembly. We inspected everything from the slave up. You can see physically that it's moving line or fluid through the line. There's a diverter in the reservoir, the master for the brakes and the clutch share the same brake fluid reservoir. So we think that it got low enough to suck air down into the line, which still wouldn't cause some kind of like fusion or conjoining of the two components. When he presses on the pedal, I can see all of this flex, like lines, uh, the line pressure is there, except for when he presses on the pedal, I can hear in the slave, it goes So it's trying really hard to press in the throw out bearing, but I don't think it's moving it. So I think something inside of the bell housing, whether it's throw out, fork, pressure plate, clutch disc, etc., is either seized or something. We're gonna pull it apart because everything from the slave outward is good. But when we bled it earlier, you know, like the first time there was air in it, but as soon as the air was- Well, what's weird is that, and this is new to me, the brakes and the clutch share the same reservoir for brake fluid. I've never seen that. They've always been the same. Like they are, sorry, they've always been separated. So it makes me question like, I'm always so okay with admitting fault or human error or failure. I'm not too certain on that because what would have happened what? is there's, what's that? Certain on what? That it was our fault. Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's the okay. slave, that plastic thing? Yeah. How right. weird. But it's like what could have happened is like we could have gotten a false fill on the front portion of it and it wouldn't have bled into the back portion of it, which is the, the clutch side of it. So if we got a false fill, that would have put air into the system and not let the slave actuate to push the throwout bearing. You think the slave could have failed? How would we know if we can't even see it? I don't think it would have failed. It, we just, it would have had a pocket and then we would have bled it. And if we bled it, it should have been fine. If it were our fault and there was air in it, that would have bled out. Yeah, it is what it is. Other than that. You do remember when working on the C8 that there was a very important thing that we couldn't do was fall below the brake yeah, when we fluid did, line. When we did, the, we did the front brakes. Yeah, maybe. The, the C8 Calvin's talking about has a really particular bleeding system and actually requires a, a special tool from Jim to bleed. I did read about that on this car and people said you're able to do it mechanically without any like tools or computers, but who knows? Maybe you guys can inform us down below in the comments. This was our first time actually driving the A90 chassis on track. Steering feel is so awesome. The electronic power steering rack, I absolutely love it. Now, I was actually talking for a little bit with Taylor Ray the other day, shout out to Taylor, because he just recently did an F80 M3, which utilizes a, an electric power steering rack. Probably, if not the same thing, or very similar to what we have here. Um, it's very interesting to see the steering get heavier based on how fast you're going. Just like modern day cars, when you're in the parking lot speeds, you have a very light steering wheel, but then you notice when you're on the freeway and you have a faster wheel speed, the steering feels heavier. Same thing applies with this. So it's a very weird phenomenon. It's very light and loose going like two miles an hour, which on all the other cars it's not. And then it actually gets nice and firm, very responsive the faster you go. We did have some struggles with like over rotation and that was just us dialing in um, our toe, dialing in our front PSI, first time on the N205s up front and the G2s in the rear. So Dylan was actually able to make some adjustments with me, going back and forth, felt way better. Would have liked to have 10 more laps to kind of give us more information to make some more adjustments. But again, we'll have good life to do that. Hydro worked great. The car was very snappy and had really good transition. The car felt relatively settled suspension wise. I don't have enough information to make more adjustments from what we had to set the skid pad and doing some light AVS stuff. But overall, guys, this car rips. I am so happy. Our team has busted ass this past month. 
And given the clutch being it is what it is, we knew buying this car that the clutch was the biggest unknown and the trans was the biggest unknown, but, but we really wanted this manual trans. So I'm very happy with our decision. I'm super stoked and blessed that we have ACT to at least help us in this situation. If any of you are like watching this, like, man, I wonder if it's gonna be a cool car or he's gonna like it. I've never had so much fun drifting and I was on a skid pad. I was loving every second of it. The power, the torque. Guys, it felt amazing. I'm sad you guys didn't get to drive it, but man it was sick nonetheless it was a successful day the car ripped handled amazing we were able to make adjustments on track and i'm just i'm so stoked i can't wait to get this thing fixed because hopefully we're going to be taking this to grid life march 31st and if it doesn't make it we'll take a different car but the timeline is ticking i'll be uploading more frequent because i'm going to try and get this done keep your eyes peeled in the next day or two because we're going to post another video with this car until then i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace out and keep moving forward.